Lockheed will deliver about 250 torpedoes over the next five years. The MK-48, which is a heavy weapon launched under the surface, is quite different than surface-launched, lightweight MK-54 torpedo fired from helicopters, aircraft and surface ships. The Navy's MK-48 torpedo is also in service with Australia, Canada, Brazil and the Netherlands. The MK-48 torpedo is 21 inches in diameter and weighs 3,520 pounds, it can destroy targets at ranges out to 5 miles and travels at speeds greater than 28 knots. The weapon can operate at depths greater than 1,200 feet and fires a 650-pound high-explosive warhead. The U.S. Navy is now engineering a new, longer-range and more lethal submarine-launched heavyweight MK-48 that can better destroy enemy ships, subs and incoming weapons at longer ranges, service officials said. Many details of the new weapon, which include newer propulsion mechanisms and multiple kinds of warheads, are secret and not publicly available. However, senior Navy leaders have previously talked to Scout Warrior about the development of the weapon in a general sense. Naturally, having a functional and more high-tech lethal torpedo affords the Navy an opportunity to hit enemies at further standoff ranges and better compete with more fully emerging undersea rivals such as Russia and China. Progress with new torpedo technologies is happening alongside a concurrent effort to upgrade the existing arsenal and restart production of the MK-48, which had been on hiatus for several years. Lockheed has been working on upgrades to the MK-48 Torpedo Mod 6 and Mod 7 which consists of adjustments to the guidance control box, broadband sonar acoustic receiver and amplifier components. Lockheed developers told Scout Warrior last year that Lockheed is now delivering 20 upgrade kits per month to the Navy. Part of the effort, which involves a five-year deal between the Navy and Lockheed, includes upgrading existing Mod 6 torpedoes to Mod 7 as well as buying brand new Mod 7 guidance control sections. The new Mod 7 is also resistant to advanced enemy countermeasures. Modifications to the weapon improves the acoustic receiver, replaces the guidance and control hardware with updated technology, increases memory, and improves processor throughput to handle the expanded software demands required to improve torpedo performance against evolving threats, according to Navy information on the weapon. Alongside Lockheed's work to upgrade the guidance technology on the torpedo, the Navy is also preparing to, to build new MK-48s. Upgrades to the guidance control section and includes the integration of a system called Common Broadband Advanced Sonar System, or CBASS, electronics to go into the nose of the weapon as part of the guidance section, Lockheed developers explained. This technology provides streamlined targeting and allows the torpedo to transmit and receive over a wider frequency band, Lockheed engineers said. The new technology involves adjustments to the electronic circuitry in order to make the acoustic signals that are received from the system that allow the torpedo to better operate in its undersea environment. Upgrades also consist of movement to what's called an auto-fuel propulsion system, Lockheed officials added. Lockheed will deliver about 250 torpedoes over the next five years. The MK-48, which is a heavy weapon launched under the surface, is quite different than surface-launched, lightweight MK-54 torpedo fired from helicopters, aircraft and surface ships. The MK-48 torpedo is 21 inches in diameter and weighs 3,520 pounds, it can destroy targets at ranges out to 5 miles and travels at speeds greater than 28 knots. The weapon can operate at depths greater than 1,200 feet and fires a 650-pound high-explosive warhead. To make it a reef, you gotta sink it with an ad cap. You gotta break its back, and that's what an ad cap does. Battle damage assessment. There it is. That's the ultimate answer for the kill chain. We are all clear. The Mark 48 ad cap is probably the world's premier heavyweight torpedo. Incredibly powerful, incredibly accurate, shot well with the right tactics, and it's nearly impossible to escape. Well, the heavyweight torpedo is a larger torpedo that's, that's submarine launched. A lightweight torpedo is, is designed to be carried by aircraft. That's why it's small. We're reaching for commonality and affordability between these weapons is putting a common software architecture in the middle of it. The lightweight and heavyweight torpedo teams have gotten together and we've kind of traded the best of the best. There's a lot of value in having 
the torpedo software common so that it cuts down on infrastructure costs and it makes it a much more affordable and reliable weapon. ADCAP started out as a blue water weapon. It was intended to counter the Soviet threat and basically relied on sonar to do that job. I think if you look at this, the history of the ADCAP torpedo, it is a history of evolution and technology insertion where you can make most of the changes in software. Part of the strategy is going to be to take that Mark 48 and make it a very key foundational piece for this evolution of payloads. There's a real push to see how can we use existing inventory, existing assets, and how can we evolve those. We can look at putting in improved navigational sensors, uh, obstacle avoidance sonars, things that the deep water weapon didn't need, but that we can find room for in a littoral weapon. We're looking at technologies that would be able to discern a target from the noise through data fusion, through improvements in sonar resolution. With the technologies of perhaps fiber optics uh, controlling it, GPS, um, satellite navigation, uh, all of these things, this weapon now has the possibility um, to become a very accurate weapon. The heavyweight is demonstrated in many service weapons tests that it can sink the ships. The capability it provides to go after both surface ship and submarines is probably not matched anywhere. It's very difficult to detect when it's coming in because it's so quiet. It's lethal and it's nearly impossible to escape once it detects you and starts homing in for the kill. If you want to sink it, bring the weapon of choice and I think that's the ICAT torpedo. I think it's actually a fire, a very warm, increase to 6.5. I'm just going to die, make you down 500 feet.